What is your book called? Panda Panda. Panda Panda? Why do you like Panda Panda? Because every animal gets a turn to spy something. That is so cool. Who is this? That's Dark Pick. Oh my gosh. Why do you like this so much? Because it has magic. A picture book. A picture book? Oh, look at this. It's a picture of all of kids in your class and stuff. That's awesome. A porcupine named Fluffy. A porcupine named Fluffy? That's hilarious. Why do you like this book? Because, because it's funny. It is so funny. That's a great reason. What's this one about? Um, uh, man with a chicken. A man with a chicken? Well, it looks like a goose to me. Is it a goose? It's a chicken that looks like a goose. <laughs> because, because of what well, we got shots and cakes and throw sticks. Because he kicks and throws sticks? Yep. And Never. is that what, because that's what you like to do too? Yeah. Um, monsters love underwear. <laughs> fun to read. Is it fun to read? Do you like this guy? Yeah. Is he silly? What does he do in this book? He goes in the zoo. He, well, of course. He goes in the zoo. That's the name of the book. Um, if you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. So here's the mouse. Here's the cookie. Then what happens? He get pirates be polite. Pirates be polite? And why do you like this book? Because the pirates are funny. The pirates are funny? Mm -hmm. What's the pirate say? Mm, R. <laughs> Children's books are often able to express profound truths in very, very simple ways. Even some of those books that were read to us before we were able to read ourselves shaped us and helped us engage our imagination. There's a lot of theology present in children's books. And so for the next five weeks at Campbell, we're gonna be thinking about children's books together during our worship service. Our series is called Pure Imagination. We'll be thinking about what makes something real, how we can use our imaginations to discern the presence of God in our midst. All are welcome to come and join in worship here at Campbell as we think about the theology of children's books in a worship series called Pure Imagination. May 21st, running for five weeks.